turning myself into a doodle bear from the early 2000s. I'm here for it. <laughs> Welcome to my channel where every day is Halloween. I am Chelsea and here we talk about horror movies, paranormal stories, and all whilst I do my makeup. So if you would please subscribe down below because I would really appreciate it. And yeah, let's get into this video. So we are drinking some wine. This is Raven's Glen uh, Sweet Dreams, I believe. And it's like a sweet red wine. It's absolutely delicious. Chef's kiss. Mm, we love it. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna talk about horror movies that I recommend that I've watched recently that I really enjoyed Why I do some makeup. I just want to do something fun and cute. Don't know what kind of makeup I'm doing yet, but you already know because you can see the thumbnail. I have no idea what I'm doing, so let's get into it. Okay, before we even start, do you love my little space buns? Mm, I haven't done space buns in a while. I think they're so cute. I just love them so much. NYX Bear With Me Primer. Okay, I think I'm gonna do like a cute but goth look, like goth cute. That's literally my whole aesthetic. Like I've come to the conclusion that like basically black with a little bit of like pastel colors, which is kind of like a pastel goth, but not like all pastel, like I don't know. I'm like creepy cute, like that's my aesthetic here. Creepy cute, love it. All right, throw in some foundation. This is the Can't Stop, Won't Stop Pale. It's like the lightest shade they have. Okay, let's start. Here, like raining we are having like a winter storm right now and it's like literally ice falling from the sky and now that I say that I picture like these huge like icicles you know they drip down and come to a point and they're just falling like people are dodging them like they don't dodge and they die yeah oh that should be a horror movie it's probably in a horror movie somewhere I'd imagine I'd hope so like um, a horror movie it's like twisted Christmas there's like killer snowmen and Icicles coming from you know the sky that are stabbing people and killing them. Oh, there's like a scene where someone goes to like catch like a snowflake innocently on their tongue, and as they're looking up, a, one of the things come down one of the icicles and goes right through their eye, and all of a sudden they're like, and then they just fall down dead. Hmm. When <laughs> my cat can hear it outside, she's like, "What is that? What is it, when So my very first movie is going to be. Um, wrong Turn from 2021. This just came out January 26th, I believe. It was the end of January. I really liked it. I would say I love Wrong Turn from like 2003, I believe, the first one. I've seen probably like every other movie. And though I love Wrong Turn and think it's like just really crazy and like a fun movie to watch because it's just very kind of just, I don't know, I've kind of noticed that I really like just kind of like dumbed down to killing movies. <laughs> I don't know, sue me. And so this is what this movie always is. And this newer one, I mean, it's still basically that, but it's way, it's a little bit different. So it's less so um, inbred cannibals and more so like a isolated community, if you want to say, but they're still barbaric. You just have to watch the movie. It is pretty good though. It's still, you know, the teens, I don't think they're teens, the young adults going out through the Appalachian Mountains and then they end up stumbling across these people and but it turns out very differently kind of than what it usually is I don't know you need to watch it it's a good movie honestly they could have named it something completely different and because it's, it's just it's so much different that it doesn't really remind me of like a wrong turn movie it just reminds me of like a whole other movie on its own I don't know that's kind of just what I take from it why is this called wrong turn it's wrong turn I don't know it's kind of weird it should be called like wrong turn civilization or something I don't know something a little bit different I don't know even just like how we were talking about the thing it's like why was it just the thing from 1980 whatever to the thing 2000 whatever it's like name it name it something else like you can call it the thing and then put like the beginning or something I mean add something else to it because I hate when you just have like wrong turn it's just like right now you have two wrong turns and now you have to specify specify by the year and I don't know, unless it's like a complete remake, which I guess this could have been a remake because it's so different. 
I don't know. I digress. I guess it really doesn't matter. I really don't care. I actually really like the movie. I like both movies. I like all the wrong turn movies for the most part. So I don't know. Go check it out. Go watch it when you can, when it's available for you to stream it by whatever you want to do with it. We are going to throw on some concealer. Wow, it is like really raining out. Like I said, I think it's it was ice earlier. I don't know if it's still ice, if it's actually rain now, but I mean, it's pretty cold outside. I don't know. We have a winter weathery advisory, like all the schools in Ohio, probably all in Ohio, but especially around us, whatever, near Columbus and stuff have canceled. And yeah, that's just what it is right now. Okay, and the next movie I want to talk about is called Possessor. I think it's the pos it's Possessor or The Possessor. This is, just came out last year, 2020, and this was a really good and strange movie it's a weird movie it's a brutal movie um it's just very different I really liked it I really enjoyed it but like I don't know I could I could have personally guessed what was coming next and usually I don't know usually I'm pretty good at, like guessing what's going to come up like what's going to happen next um but when I can't guess what's going to happen next it actually keeps me on my toes I really appreciate that and this one I it kept me on my toes so some parts I was like okay it makes sense but some parts I was like oh like <laughs> the ending was kind of shocking to me just put that out there I won't give any more about it um basically <sighs> I don't know if I can even explain what happened to be honest basically it's a set around mind control and assassinations and they assassinate people through mind control and there's just a whole backstory to it it, I don't know if there's like a rated, unrated version, but it is um, pretty sexual at times or whatever. And so that's, I mean, mindful if you want to be mindful of that. But for the most part, like, I don't know, it's a real, it's just a good movie. Like, it's like a sit down, watch, think about it kind of movie. And it's kind of crazy because like, what if this stuff really exists? I don't know. That's what I love about these kind of movies. It's like, it's almost kind of like sci-fi because it's like, like, what if that's a thing? I don't know. We had MK Ultra. And that was back in, I don't know, I'm going to say the 70s or 80s, 60s, I have no clue. But this was like basically the government literally was using mind control on people or trying to. And they would use people that were like insane asylums and elderly people. And people that basically were put into some kind of facility and people just forgot about them, which is so freaking sad. But sometimes things happen, you know, you don't have family, yada, yada, yada million reasons here what why that would happen but yeah anyway so not to get too <laughs> into like conspiracy it was not a conspiracy it was actually like a proven thing like it's like literally you can google it and they, they will even tell you there's documents and everything like this the government did do this I, but yeah so if you're interested go check out mk ultra like what that's not a movie like that's like legit thing that the government did go look into it go read up on it it's interesting as hell and there's just a lot more than i can even cover in this you know this random part of this little video so anyway moving on go watch possessor it's really good it's from last year a lot of people were, were recommending it i was gonna add some more to it but i don't know it starts right off the bat is like well <laughs> and it doesn't slow down like it's it's just it's a good movie i like it okay refreshments mm -mm. <sighs> all right so powder up Sometimes like that powder right up my nose holes <laughs> and it drives me nuts. Nostrils, nose holes. You ever realize how like close like nostrils, nose holes, nose holes, nostrils? Like it's almost like is that how you named it? Like literally nose holes, nostrils? Like how did you get to the nostril part? I don't know. I'm sure that's a I'm sure that's a Googleable question, honestly. Can we use purple to contour? Why not? Now that I'm looking at myself, I kind of look like a doll and I'm kind of not mad about it. See, I never know where this is going. <laughs> you know where this is going? I have no idea. If you guys haven't, uh, go follow me on TikTok. I make TikToks nowadays. Do I have a lot on there? Not at the moment. Do I have a, some good ones, some funny ones? Yeah, sure. 
you know what, I was gonna make this really funny TikTok, but like I can't dance. <laughs> so sometimes I have really good ideas, but like I physically cannot execute them and it's very sad. Uh, such a sad time. If you know, if you understand what I'm saying, you understand what I'm saying. It's like, you're like, oh, this would be so funny if I could do it. <laughs> you know, sometimes just being, having the ability is half the battle and that's the half that I'm failing on, you know? My next movie is called The Invitation. If you haven't seen it, you should go check it out. It's on Netflix, US right now. Ever since I've been on Twitter, Twitter, <laughs> Twitter, Twitter, Twitter. Ever since I've been on Twitter, um, I've realized that you have to specify the Netflix or whatever streaming service you're using, like the country you're in, because they're all different for the most part. I don't know if every single movie is different, but you know what I mean. There's variances, that's the word, there's variances between them. So anyway, Netflix US, it's on there. Um, this is a older movie, I think it's like, no idea. I can't even tell you, I'll put it up here somewhere. I'll put it up here next to the movie, whatever. Uh, it's 2000 something, but it's not necessarily new. It's just something a lot of people are recommending. I finally watched it and it is really good. It's kind of like a slow burning thriller type movie, um, but still a horror movie. And I don't know, it's just, it's pretty, it's pretty interesting. Cause you're kind of like, what the hell was going on the whole time? But then when you know, you know, and then it's like, oh shit, <laughs> it's pretty good. Basically, I'm doing eyeliner all the way around my eyeball. First of all, you need a darker color. It's just not dark enough, honey. It's not dark enough, honey. So, another movie that I watched recently which actually was kind of a rewatch, but I just want to talk about it because I love it so much. I haven't seen this movie in years, My Bloody Valentine. So I watched this on Valentine's Day, which was yesterday as of right the second. For you, it was like six days ago. I don't know. I can't do math. Anyway, um, beautiful movie. I watched the, there's an 80s version, the original. And there's a remake, I think in 2011. I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong right here. Probably wrong. Anyway, and it's really good. It's such a good movie. It's like bloody, literally my bloody Valentine. It's bloody, there's cool death scenes. There's actually a pretty good storyline. Like it's a pretty fun slasher movie. And I really just have like a soft spot for any movie that's based on a holiday. I don't know why, but like holiday themed movies in general just like make me happy. And I'm not like a huge holiday person, I'm not religious or anything, it's just like, I don't know what it is, I just like it. Like I love Halloween themed stuff and Christmas themed and even it's Valentine's Day, which is like, is it really even a holiday? I don't know, but technically, you know, whatever. But like, I just like it. I don't know, I need to watch the movie Holidays. It's like a horror movie called Holidays. And I think it's an anthology of like, um, what is it, like horror stories, horror movies, like little, you know, the anthology, whatever. It's like little horror stories in a movie. And they're based on like holidays. And I really love that and I need to watch it. I love it so like my favorite movies so I love Halloween like my favorite movies are the ones that are like based on Halloween day or night or whatever or like that week or leading up to it like I don't know I just love it so much I don't know if you're like that leave it down in the comments let me know um like even like Black Christmas like I don't know anything that's like any kind of holiday related I just really love it enjoy it Purples are dark enough. And like dark is my soul. Maybe we'll just add some black. This is not at all turning out how I want.
wanted it to turn out. So we're going in a whole new direction, right? A whole new world. Okay. starts to come along and you're probably like girl I cry like a bird <laughs> it's the nose for me my next movie The Haunting in Connecticut what are you doing the Haunting Connecticut, this again is not a new movie, it's just something I watched recently and I love it. I've seen it before, I actually watched it in theaters back. <laughs> just playing a little fuzzy ball. Back in the Dizay when it first came out and like, no idea, I'll put the date up here. And it was, it's such a good movie. If you haven't seen this movie, you need to go watch it, you can check it out. It's actually based on a true story, like a true like haunted house story. And you can definitely look it up. You can, I'm sure there are, if nothing else, I was gonna say documentaries. If nothing else, there are YouTube videos out there that talk about like the true story behind the haunting of Connecticut. And uh, definitely go watch the movie. It's so good. The main character, I forget his name. I'll put like a picture of him up here. He does such a phenomenal job. And then just the whole thing, like it's creepy, it's spooky, it makes you jump. And it just sits with you. Like if this is a movie that I would say is like one of my top like, favorite like horror movies like something I would definitely watch at night like to really like get me like to feel a little like scared and uneasy like it's one of those movies it's so good I know this whole list is kind of like I don't know it's kind of a mess but it's just like things movies that I want to talk about it's movies I want to talk about things that I've seen lately that I just have to tell you about in case you haven't seen it or heard of it okay if you're still with me I appreciate you <laughs> I don't know what's happening yet but I don't know I kind of am here for it we're just gonna keep we're just gonna keep uh blending until we you know until the end result is something I want literally adding shimmer makes everything look more intentional <laughs> and more I think it not even in intentional but it gives it more dimension so it makes it look more intentional Next movie is going to be uh, Room 1408. Actually, it's just called 1408, but it's Room 1408, whatever. Um, I love this movie. This is one of my absolute favorite horror movies. It scares the ever-loving shit out of me because paranormal stuff scares me like on movies anyway. And this is basically about a haunted room. I don't know. It, it's crazy too because it has so much and it's just one space. I think that's what's so cool about it because it's not like, I don't know, it's not really this like all over the place storyline, but it's a really good movie in one place. Go watch 1408 and like I said, it's basically just a haunted room. This guy, he writes like books about haunted places and I honestly don't know if the books he writes are like saying these places are haunted that he like stayed there or if it's debunking it but he actually doesn't believe in ghosts i don't believe which is like kind of ironic but i guess if you do it long enough and nothing ever happens you wouldn't but he goes into this room and then the, just literally the craziest stuff starts happening and happens and it's just like i don't know it's just insane like i said we're just here playing with makeup having fun i'm drinking some wine hanging out talking about movies I love I, this I just had a today's been a long day like for the real like for real for real today's been a long day and I was like you know what I'm gonna go play in some makeup record a video make a video out of it 
and record some TikToks. And that's what I've been doing. So I recorded my TikToks beforehand. This will be my afterhand, maybe. I don't know. I'm sure I'll make TikToks with this. Who cares? Just do it. Live your best life. Live your best life. Do what you want. Do what makes you happy. Have fun. Even if you just start basically smearing purple and black all over your face, just do it. I think those dolls you like draw one and then you throw them in the wash yes I just said the wash and then you take them out and they were all clean you could draw them again that's why I feel like a doodle bear <laughs> these like little bat wing things over here too <laughs> stuff on it so we'll see how this looks but I'm gonna add this lip gloss on it well I hope you guys like the movies that I um, recommended this is a very strange thrown together video but you know what I had fun I hope you had fun watching this train wreck of a look. Well, it was a train wreck. Now I think it's actually kind of cute. Sorry if I had to talk as much through this. Um, honestly, I didn't know if I'd finish this video or not. I still don't really know if it's going up or not. So if you see this, hi. If you don't, well, you'll never know about it. Okay, let's throw on some highlighter. <laughs> I didn't throw this one actually. Oh, and I throw on some. I always forget this. Throw on some mascara. This actually is like really cute. Like these little hearts, first of all, so cute. I need like real like black liquid just dripping out of my mouth. Adorable. Love it. This one I'm talking about creepy cute is my aesthetic. <laughs> and I really like how my nose turned out right here. Like this little cute little like glittery spot, shiny spot. Whatever you want to call it. Alright, I'm gonna throw on this like black lip gloss. See how that looks. Perfect, cute. Ooh, they're pink, but these are from Freaky Kawaii on uh, on uh, Etsy. I only know that because it's still on like the little tags. <laughs> these are so freaking cute. You know, when I first opened these, I was like, oh my god, these are a lot smaller than I thought they would be, but they actually like fit perfectly because I have chunky neck, so they're actually quite perfect. God, this looks way cooler than I thought it was going to. Should have known. If I had like black scleras, that'd be so cool. I don't. I don't even wear contacts. I don't even feel comfortable putting them in my eyeballs. But just because I've never done it before. This looks so freaking cute. I love it. Yeah, this video is definitely going up. I don't know. Okay, guys. 
this is our final look at our gloss got our runny glossy I don't know what this is like black blood that's what I call it amazing beautiful kawaii freaky kawaii earrings we got our bird skull necklace cute got our space buns we are rocking and rolling tonight I still have wine left I don't even drink that much wine well it's because I got really concentrated so here we are with some wine left after I take this off, I'll probably finish my glass of wine, go to bed, you know. This looks so cool. Okay, let me know how you feel about our look down in the comments. Do you like these crazy looks? I mean, they're just going to keep coming, so like subscribe for more. Please like, comment, let me know what you like, what you think. I can do some normal makeup things. My past ones have been, like my other videos, like go check out my makeup playlist. If you guys like this, please let me know down in the comments. I really appreciate it. Thank you for spending some time with me, some quality time. Um, <laughs> I feel like this video just didn't really give that much. I don't know. I kind of want to do a QA. and a When I, I'm almost to a thousand subs, so if you haven't subbed yet, please sub. Uh, once I hit a thousand subs, I think I'm going to do like a QA. and a if anyone cares to know anything about me. I'm pretty much an open book, honestly, but whatever, you know, so hit me up. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching, especially if you've made it to this point. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit me up on Twitter and Instagram, Chelsea Rath. Uh, all right, guys, see you in the next one. Peace out.